Hi, Cancer. It's Angela. We're here to do a mid-June sort of update, energy update here. We're going to do a little spread. We The Oracle deck that I'm using this, this round is chakra based. It's the chakra wisdom. I love this deck. So it allows us to tune into a certain energetic um, space within us and then tap into an aspect of that space that we need to sort of focus on and um, and grow. This is all about our growth, right? Okay, so for you, Cancer, the card I pulled is a throat chakra card, a fifth chakra, and it's expansion. So this is more, um, this is kind of the guidance here is to, uh, first of all, see, first of all, always express your honesty, always express yourself and, re, you know, relate to others with your truth. And what we learn is that as, as time goes on, that truth, I mean, we always have our core truths, but sometimes the way we see it or the way we, um, you know, wrestle with it or the way, the way we engage with it changes and other things rise to the top. Other things become more important to us, you know, whatever that is. If we're, if, if we're someone that really values honesty and uh, at some point in our life, we realize mm, some people aren't, aren't able to be honest in every moment because of fears or vulnerabilities. And I, I should probably have some more compassion for that, right? Then you, you shift the way you relate to that. So that helps you to sh shift the way you relate to others. And when you start to um, expand and create new ways of relating to others, you widen your circle. You, you, you know, get to engage with new people and different kinds of people. Um, sometimes even the old people fall off. Sometimes it takes sort of shifting um, your circle, moving toward those who are more aligned with you in this moment and then having to sort of leave others behind. That does happen. People fall in and out of your experience. Um, but as you grow and you relate to the world in new ways, you know, this, the, you receive it back. The newness comes, right? Um, it's, it's sort of the, you know, you're manifesting all of this too. This isn't just, oh, you're not, nothing's happening to you in any of this. This isn't like, oh, this person doesn't like me anymore. Well, it's really like I've changed and my value system's changed. And maybe that person and I just aren't matched up anymore. Maybe we're not aligned anymore. It doesn't mean that's bad, that's a bad person, or you're a bad person. It's just really kind of the gentle truth is that I, I see things differently now. I prefer to, let's just say, I prefer to give people the benefit of the doubt more often. And this person that I've been hanging around with is very, you know, quick to decide, you know, who deserves their pat on the back and who doesn't. And for me, I think I'm going to let that play out a little more. I'm going to find what the whole circumstance is and then, you know, inquire a little more as to what's going on. And that may come with your expansion and comes with time. And that means this other person you've been hanging out with may not, you know, it may not be as fun anymore. You may not have that same connection. And that's okay. And sometimes as we expand, we just add, <laughs> we add people to our circle and then that's a big one, big old party. So let's see what the Zen guidance says here as it relates to expanding. And remember, keep in mind, this is a throat chakra card. So this is being able to express yourself as you truly are in those steps as you're expanding your being, as you're becoming more and more, um, you know, your whole full self. Okay, your starting point here, Cancer, is existence. I love this so much because this is, this is assuring you, reassuring you that wherever you are in the timeline of your life, in the physical space that you take up, um, you know, in any given moment, you know, if you're in a crowded, in a, in a big crowd at a concert, 
or if you're out in an expansive universe like this star seed, she's just sitting there <laughs> on her um, lily pad and just experiencing the whole universe. Wherever you are, you're home. It doesn't matter what your physical surroundings are. It doesn't matter how much you've learned and haven't learned in this life. You're always, you, you matter in every moment that you exist. And finding comfort in that is a huge key to being able to go on this path of expansion. Because as you expand, I'm still home, right? I'm still me. I'm a little more of that. I'm a little less of this and a little more of that as I'm guiding toward where the energy is taking me to um, sort of uh, expand my arena, right, in my life. But all of it deep inside of me, I'm home through all of it. I love it. That's a really great starting point. It's a great reminder that even though we're, we may be losing some acquaintances or friends and gaining others or whatever, we still have a secure and safe space that we occupy on, um, you know, in this universe. Internally, you're reminded the we are the world card reminds you of that universal connection. So I am exactly where I belong and so is everyone else. And we're all connected and we're all sharing this together. We're sharing this experience together. You know, even with, you know, one person here and one person across the world, we're still connected. And if you start to get to feel that in your, in your lifetime, it's powerful. It's that's when your um, empathy starts to awaken because you, you can, even though you may have never met somebody across the world, you can hear about a story they've gone through and really feel it and really support them energetically. Um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful realization to come through and it kind of calms everything down, at least for me, it kind of reminds me, you know what, we're all moving through this together. I, I take up the space I take up, right? I'm in, I'm home wherever I am. And so is everyone else. And it's all okay. It's all okay. All right. So getting this realization down is kind of the key. It's almost like, um, um, before the expansion begins, I need to nail this foundation down, right? Understanding my place in the universe and understanding everyone else's and how we're all related. That's the basic, that's the, really the basic for the human experience anyway, and the spiritual one too. Getting that, uh, nailing that down results in this energy. And look at that, better awareness, more clarity. This is the art of expansion itself, right? Being able to see things in a different way, being able to, um, um, first of all, believe that we're all connected and then you get to know it, right? It reminds me of that, um, Dr. Dyer, I think said, Wayne Dyer, people like to say, I'll see it when I believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I got it wrong. I'll believe it when I see it, right? Because that's that's there's a closed off energy there. I'll believe it when I see it. Prove it to me and then I'll believe it. Well, this vibe here and the vibe of expansion is more I'll see it when I believe it. Right? The belief must be on board. I must have that trust. I must have that knowledge of all this interconnectedness with everyone in order to be able to experience it, right? Um, sorry, I got that backwards, that was funny. But, you know, that is the, that is the little path there for, for finding our expansion. And in our, you know, this could all just be energetic. This could all just ha be happening within you, all of this, where I'm realizing uh, wherever I am, I'm okay and I'm safe. And really the, the richness of my life goes on within me more than anything, more than any material achievements, more than any um, you know, status in society that I may have, right? My home, my car, my degree, whatever. My true value is within me. 
this is that first step to, to getting, and that's where our personal and spiritual growth begins too, is within. And then we start to realize, oh, everyone else too, that if I'm, <laughs> you know, if I'm um, tuned in to my inner being, and I, I know that wh wherever I am is exactly where I belong in any given moment, um, every, that must be the same for everyone else, right? You start to realize this. Now there's an ease. There's a little more ease in the way you go about your days. And you're more accepting of where everyone is. You know, it's that empathy I was talking about. You, you, get, you get to grow that part of you, um, you know, when you're on this path. It's beautiful. All right. So the key to moving forward, this bottom card here is our pivot and kind of saying, let's get this down before we can get to our next level of, um, of awareness, of consciousness. And I got guidance. This is your inner being. This is what we were saying. Follow that inner being. It knows, you know, what is best for you. And when we're talking about expansion, remember um, earlier on in the reading, I talked about how sometimes when we're on this path, on this journey, others aren't in the same um, space as we are. They're not going at the same pace. They're not heading in the same direction sometimes. And we may sometimes need to leave people behind as we do as we um, are on the journey of our personal growth. Sometimes that's what happens. And that inner guidance will tell us when it's, you know, it's time for me to move forward. I love you. I wish you the best. I'm right here, but I'm, I'm going off to do this. Or maybe you'll just see me a little less often or whatever. But that does happen. We start to shed some of the people um, in our experience just as a matter of not survival, but sort of energetic survival for us. Okay, so follow your inner being. That's the most important thing. Know your inner being, right? And then follow the guidance, the nudges that come through for you. Okay, the next level of awareness is, is what you get after you follow your guidance. And it's integration. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, so this is asking you to let all of it be true. My past, the past way I used to do things, my present way, my potential future, my inner self, my outer being, the way I show up in the world, um, the connections I have with spirit, the connections I have with others, let that all be part of your experience. We don't have to, because what happens is if you start to select this part is good, this part is bad, right? If you start to label and select and want to just focus on this friendship makes me feel better, I think I'll just spend all my time with them. You're missing <laughs> a lot more of what your experience could be, right? So we want to make sure we're kind of in the middle of it, holding firm like this vibe and everything that occurs around us and the people that we encounter and, and what we decide to engage in that's all, all part of our growth, all of it. Even the stuff that maybe we decide, you know, to take a risk and try something and it doesn't succeed. And then we, we get down on ourselves. Oh, why did I even try? No, I tried and I learned and it, and it didn't succeed. Now I get to make a choice. Do I want to try again? Or do I want to say, oh yeah, it may not have been worth the effort, but got the lesson and then you get to move on. But all of those experience and, and people and uh, you know the, the aspect of yourself that's, that's guiding you within, let it all be present. This integration card is, is a beautiful card for a holistic, um, the, a holistic well-being of, of yourself, your soul and your body. Internally, the card that goes uh, with your, you know, in the internal position, which is always on the left side, it's within you. I got control. Okay. So for some of you, this expansion is blocked by your need to control outcomes, right? We know we're here to learn and grow and expand. That's kind of the human experience in a nutshell, right? From the time we're born and take our first breath. As much as we can take in, as much of the life that we can absorb around us and learn from and grow and, and 
collect experiences and collect memories and move forward from that, that it makes our life rich. But if we're trying hmm, to hammer it in and you know make sure this is in place and I only wanna move forward if I can do this in this order, ABC, there's a, not a lot of progress that's gonna be made with that energy. Now, we all have this, some more than others, this need to just make sure the outcome's predictable, make sure uh, you know we feel most secure when we're controlling steps, but really what the universe is kind of laughing at us because we don't control much of this. The only thing we control is how we show up to it. And so, you know, we've got stuff coming our way and things thrown at us from the right and the left and little, you know, daggers coming at us. We get to control how we respond to that. Do we want to duck? Do we want to catch that dagger? Do we want to swat that rock away? Um, you know, this person that comes in front of us that makes us feel uneasy. Do we want to stay engaged and try to feel comfortable at some point? Well, that vibe is, it's not going to get us very far. So we got to release that need. Um, and I would say that since this is in the internal position, this isn't an action to take. It's more of an awareness to just to call yourself to, to be aware of it when it arises. When you start to get uncomfortable and you wanna like, you wanna, I don't know, um, tell your new friend, oh, you know, I wanna see you every Thursday or whatever, I don't know, every Thursday at 12, then that's a little controlling, right? And so then just having a, a, a um, putting a little spotlight on it for yourself and going, oh, look, look what I said you know, that's, that, that feels a little wound up. That doesn't feel very much, you know, that's not following my guidance. That's not coming from ease. So let me, let me just call attention to that. And let me, let me see if I can quiet that, right? That's the um, position of this card is just to uh, be willing to be on the lookout for that when it comes up, right? This isn't an assertive action. I have to take control of something. This is more internal and um, aspect of yourself that you want to sort of call attention to now and then when it arises. Okay. All right. In the last position, the outcome or the insight or the overall view of this reading as it pertains to the art of expansion, I got Thunderbolt. I just said, sometimes we gotta let go of people. Sometimes people have to fall from our experience. Sometimes it's not serving us to grip onto it. It's not serving us to try to control every aspect of our, of our waking life. And sometimes that shit's gotta fall away. <laughs> Sorry, I cussed, but I mean, how powerful is that? This is, the expansion won't happen unless you lighten the load drop some of the baggage, leave it, you know, let the universe absorb it, let the universe take it and process it. In your experience, you'll be lighter and you will have more expansion and clarity and awareness if you drop some of that old energy. This could be old people, old situations, old beliefs, but it's time to clean house. And that's how you get to expansion. It's always gonna take you know, the loss of something to gain it, right? Um, sometimes we can gain and gain and gain, but then after a while, we're still bogged down and we've gotta let some of this stuff go. Um, and like I said, this could actually be a physical person, a relationship, a job, a home, uh, you know, um, but it could also be an aspect of ourselves that we're, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna survive anymore if I just need to make sure that every single, um, you know, I is dotted and T is crossed every time I go about doing anything. That's that control vibe. I'm not going to survive that. So I got to let that go, right? I got to let it fall away. Um, and then what arises from that sort of like, you know, fire cleanses everything and leaves us with ash, but then always there's emerging growth. Always there's new growth. And so this is, uh, that's your reminder. Sometimes we want to cling really hard and that makes us feel like we're controlling something, but usually what it's doing is just bogging you down. It's just giving you extra weight that you don't need. Okay, all right, Cancer, that was it. That was pretty pretty wild. That was a good one though. Um, 
Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time and happy expanding. Mm-hmm. <laughs>